Hey folks, welcome to Watch Your Lip. This is David Fine. I'm gonna do a quick video, uh, guys, beach fishing, fast fish, how to, and it's very simple, guys. These are fish that you can catch on the beach in South Florida. These are two different species, believe it or not. We are gonna tell you how to tell the difference between a Spanish mackerel and a Cerro mackerel. Guys, we could throw kingfish in here too, but this will start here. Uh, guys, if you wanna check this video out, give me a thumbs up like that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Let's get to the video. All right guys, beach fishing in South Florida. If you're fishing long enough, you're gonna run into some of these mackerel species. And we have three species that can easily be confused, especially when kingfish are small. We could put kingfish into the mix with these two. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna talk about the Spanish mackerel and the Cerro mackerel. So this this bottom one right here is a Spanish mackerel, guys. And they look very, very, very similar. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two quick ways to tell them apart. And the first of which is the lateral line on the Spanish mackerel. It kind of has more of a straight lateral line that comes through like this. The Cerro mackerel has a lateral line that has a big dip right here and dips down. Okay, there's one difference. Difference number two, Spanish mackerel have these very distinct yellow spots that go down the, the sides. Cerro mackerel have the spots too, but they're smaller and they have this very distinct yellow line that goes across all the way down the middle of each side. So guys, this, this line right here in the Cerro mackerel is very unique to them. And that's one of the best ways to tell these two species apart quickly is by looking and see if it has this very distinct line right here. Now, kingfish in the mix uh, are very different because e even though they have spots, um, I'm gonna show you how to tell the difference between a Spanish mackerel and a kingfish. I don't have a kingfish in front of me, but the third difference uh, with these two species is the black coloration on the dorsal fin. Okay, on a Spanish mackerel, the black coloration on the dorsal fin comes all the way down and touches the where the meat is, right here on the, on the uh, top of the fish. On a Spanish mackerel, I'm sorry, on a Cerro mackerel, the black markings do not touch where the meat is, okay? Spanish mackerel, they go all the way down and touch where the meat is. Cerro mackerel, they do not. They stop right up here and this kind of clear markings or colorless markings come all the way up and all the way through uh, the underneath of those black markings. Now, kingfish guys don't have this black spot up on their dorsal fin. So that's one of the best ways to differentiate a small kingfish from these two. Now, uh, Spanish mackerel guys, size limit is 12 inches from the nose to the fork of the tail is 12 inches and they have a bag limit, a daily bag limit of 15 fish per angler. And Cerro mackerel have no current size limit and no bag limit right, uh, restrictions. So guys, if you, if you catch Cerro mackerel, you can catch as many as you want. And um, that's a great thing. Uh, guys, these small mackerel are very good to eat. They're a little on the oily side. You'll want to take the bloodline out when you fillet them. But uh, these are fish that you can catch on the beach. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick video. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to fillet these bad boys and make some, uh, make some uh, <laughs> dinner for the family uh, later on this evening. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to tell me what you'd like to know about beach fishing down here in South Florida. We can catch awesome fish like these right from the beach. And uh, we want you guys to get in on that. So guys, until next time, take care. Watch the live.